Hello, everybody. The future is now, and the future is sleepy mode. Tesla stock sleep mode, that is. So before we get into the Tesla stock update, I want to do another analogy. You guys know I love analogies, but the whole point of the analogy is to burn in your head what's going on in a visual way. So everybody knows this iconic image of, wait, Mount Tesla? Okay, Mount Everest, Tesla, whatever. Well, Tesla's last couple weeks similarly look to this. Okay, first we started climbing crazily up this mountain, this severe, severe slope. Then the traders were like, see ya! And they just took the easy flight home. I suppose, where as opposed to the regular investors basically had to take the fall, okay? And that's all right, you know, you, you've got to look at it this way. Right now, we're in the path of getting up and climbing back up the mountain, okay? But hey, we're a little shook up, so we're not going to go running up the mountain again. So you can see the vertical slope on the left that correlates with the heavy volume trading on the bottom of the chart. And then the cliff slope, where basically it just went crashing down due to a ton of stop loss triggers and selling off in general. Okay, now we fall down and now we're in this gradual slope going up. Okay, this is kind of a break, honestly. And it's not a bad time because now I feel like personally, I don't have to babysit this chart every five seconds and be like, what the heck is going on? Now we're back in this super gradual slope, which is most gradual slope I've probably seen since I started in on this one um, back in, I don't know, September or whatever. So you can also see that little pennant forming and it, and it broke but it came right back down to the trend. I mean, almost immediately. And then it's kind of been just bouncing and bouncing. I don't expect there to be heavy movement or heavy volume. You can see that we're slightly above normal volume now. So overall, a good sign. We're in a gradual slope up. We're above the 20-day moving average, which is something I follow the moving averages all the time. That basically shows the pattern in which direction we're heading in. So I don't expect it to be any massive volume until we really see some sort of breakout one way or another on this stock. So the only two major events I see coming in our future for Tesla would be the first quarter earnings announcement and the Battery Investor Day. Okay, we don't know exactly when Battery Investor Day is right now, but as far as the earnings go, the consensus EPS is 80 cents in the high at 224 and the low at losing uh, $1.10 per share. So the main factor with this earnings report is a positive one cent profit. This is like would be huge. Anything 0 0.01 cent, 0.1 cent or higher profit could potentially get them uh, on the S&P 500. People might say, why does that really matter if they're on the S&P 500 or not? Well, if they're on the S&P 500, what that means essentially is most in a lot of the uh, retirement accounts and a lot of the big investment firms, they have ETFs and mutual funds and whatnot that track the S&P 500 meaning that essentially they buy stocks that are in those S&P 500s, portions of shares, I'm sorry, shares of those companies, essentially. So if Tesla is on that, that means there will be buying in all of those firms, which drives the stock up long term. Now, I'm not saying that they're definitely going to get on the S&P 500. It just means that they, they can be accepted on the S&P 500. 
Okay, so that that's and and most likely they probably would be. It's just uh, I'm not saying for sure. It just means they can be accepted on the S&P 500. Okay, the last thing I want to go over, and I don't want to bore you to death with math, but it's back to the slope. Okay, the slope is an indicator to me, just like a million other indicators in the market. Now, if the slope's going up one. To one, that's fine. If it's going up two up and one across, that's a little heavy on the slope, right? All right. Now, Tesla slope is about one half, so it's gradual slope. Now, to correlate that to the market or to Tesla in specific here, if somebody buys two shares and somebody, let's say, is selling one share, and then somebody buys two shares. And somebody else buys one share. So it's the buying versus selling that really formulates a slope. And when you have that heavy all buying, all buying, that puts it into a vertical slope. Or vice versa, heavy all selling, you put it in, in a vertical slope down. So right now we have more buying than selling, but it's very gradual. Okay, so to me, it's like somebody's buying three shares and somebody's selling two shares and somebody's buying three shares selling two shares so it's a very gradual move up it's not like somebody's buying four shares and somebody's only selling one share if you look at it that way you see what i'm saying i hope that makes sense so i guess it comes down to prince charming elon essentially waking up kissy kissy with uh, earnings day and battery day you know all the sleeping tesla shareholders and that, that's the only thing I think that's going to make the difference in the next couple months. So I hope you liked the Tesla stock update today. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we will always keep you posted on what's going on with Tesla. And hit the bell notification. That way it pops up in your screen. It doesn't cost anything, but it's something that enables you to be able to get visibility on it in case you did want to watch a future video on Tesla stock, SPCE stock, Facebook, Google, Apple. We do a lot of tracking of a lot of different companies. So, And if there's a company you're really interested in and want a chart on it, let me know. I'd be happy to put together a chart. It takes me like 10 minutes, maybe, to put together something and at least to get a ballpark idea of what's going on.